Hi, I'm Rachel from Little Vintage Photography. Pinhole photography is one of the oldest processes and it's a lot of fun. Um, this is a large format pinhole camera. I tend to use this quite a lot in order to actually create photographic prints and it's called large format because the negative actually comes out the size of the camera itself, which is this. Now it looks like a black box and it is basically a black box. It has a pinhole in the front. Now if I push this open, this is effectively our shutter here and inside that silver area here, this is a magnet, uh, inside this silver area is a really, really tiny little pinhole. It's 0.4 of a mil, um, millimeter, which is absolutely minuscule. Uh, that is our pinhole and that is where all the light actually gets squeezed through through that pinhole and has a chemical reaction with the photographic paper that we have as a sheet that's in the back of the camera. Now, if I open this up, you'll see it literally is a black box. There we go, it's our, the back of our camera and the front of our camera. And as I mentioned, there's just simply that tiny little hole here, uh, that tiny little hole here, which is our pinhole. And all that you do is in the dark, you would put some photographic paper in. So the photographic paper would be something like this, which would have a chemical on it. That would go into the camera. This would all be done in the dark. The lid would be placed on top. And then you would use something like called a light meter to measure the amount of uh, light that will be going in and also to determine how long you need to leave this shutter open, leave that pinhole open there. So once you've actually made your exposure by using something like a light meter, you would close your shutter and then in the dark room, you would take out your piece of film or your photographic paper that's in the back of this camera put it into some chemistry, some developer, some stop and some fix, and you'd be left with a final image like this. So this is a negative image because the sun has, has gone through the pinhole, has chemically reacted with uh, the coating on the photographic paper, and then once we've put it into the developer and we've stopped it and fixed it, we're actually left with what is effectively a very large negative, hence why it's called a large format negative. If you've got any questions about analog photography, processes, alternative techniques, if you wanna try out a few more things or have any questions, drop me a line. I am on littlevintagephotography.co.uk and I look forward to hearing from you soon.